you can see uh, maybe from the address there uh, package came in from Utah um, this is uh, a knife I, I I didn't pay for this was uh, given to me I actually won it um, from uh, Blade HQ thank you guys uh, Blade HQ has uh, the first Wednesday of every month they have uh, a, a program they call week one Wednesday and it's just talking about some of the knives they have in letting people recommend knives to pull so they can check them out stuff like that I recommend you check it out so uh, what we have here is the Roxy 4 with the flame titanium handle uh, CPM S35VN blade and stone washed um, yeah this uh, I've seen pictures um, and uh, I have uh, uh, I thought I was going to get the uh, the basic version of this uh, so if you've never gotten a wee knife uh, you'll get a little piece of information you get a microfiber cloth you get uh, some wee knife Civivi stickers desiccant pack leave that in there but this is the star of the show come on what are you doing in there who's caught oh <laughs> Man, I hope the light's catching this and doing it some kind of justice. In case you missed it, uh, this is a uh, a uh, Todd knife and tool design. Uh, they designed this. We knives built it for them. That's a four-inch blade, folks. Um, what I do with my that is four inches of of cutting surface. Right, about three and three quarters, four inches back to the back to the edge of the uh, thing. But man, that is a big blade and thick. I mean, how wide is this thing? That thing is what nearly an inch and inch and a quarter wide. Um, yeah. Wow. Uh, simply amazed. Oops. That's why you don't put your finger on the lock tab. Um, anyway, you know, this fuller up here, I mean, you can wheel this blade open. You can, I'm sure people who are better, or at least once it gets uh, broken in, can spidey flick it or whatever. Reverse flick it, whatever you want to call it. Um, I love flipper tabs. I'm okay with thumb studs, but uh, I've grown accustomed to flipper tabs. Now, if you pay really close attention, you can see that that's not a flat. This is not a flat grind all the way across here. It kind of goes down right at the back, right at the edge of the Ricasso. And then it's nice and flat. It actually kind of points down towards the tip. To be excessive about it, it points down this way. And then right about here it breaks and that tip actually angles back up back that direction if you set it down on a table you can see it but uh but yeah i watched uh, uh zelrick and he was the one who pointed that out if you set it down uh like this on a table if you set it down you can start to see uh the angles of those uh that that slight grind but this is it. Uh, this is now the uh, crown jewel of my knife collection in terms of fit, finish, materials, uh, and just aesthetics. Uh, absolutely gorgeous knife. Um, it doesn't appear as though the Roxy 4 is readily available anywhere that I can find. Smaller version of this, which uh, has a slightly different angle on it and it curves more. Um, comes out almost as far and then cuts down. It's about like that. It's a wicked looking little knife uh, with the same spirit as its big brother here. Or big sister actually, Roxy I guess. 
Uh, I can't wait to get into it. Let's just leave it at that. Anyway, I hope everybody has a great day. Go out there, do great things. Most importantly, be good to one another. Talk to you later.